third chapter simple nutrients into cells in the last chapter we learned that the simple nutrients formed after digestion are absorbed by the blood vessels and the lymph vessel in the small intestine how do the simple nutrient reaches the cell through blood and lymph is the structure of blood suitable to carry the substances to know more about this we have to learn about the components of blood for that we need a test tube which contains blood and add edta to the test tube which contains blood and leave undisturbed for few minutes after few minutes you can see that the components of blood get separated as two layers in the test tube then what is meant by edta it is an anti coagulant of blood it is an anti coagulant of blood means a chemical which prevents clotting of blood a chemical which prevents clotting of blood the full form of edta it is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and we saw that there are two layers in the second test tube lower layer contains dark red in color which shows the presence of blood cells and in the upper layer we can see an yellow colored part which shows the fluid part of the blood known as plasma about 45 percentage of the blood constitute the blood cell and the remaining 55 percentage constitute the blood plasma then we can learn in detail what are the different types of blood cells already in lower classes you have learned about the different type of blood cells do you remember yes what are the rbc the red blood cells wbc white blood cells and the third one is platelets red blood cells white blood cells and platelets even though blood cells perform various functions plasma also play a major role in transportation of nutrients plasma it is a pale yellow colored fluid present in blood about 55 percentage of blood it is composed of plasma the simple nutrients found after digestion like glucose amino acid fatty acid and glycerol reaches the cell through plasma and the blood cells are present in plasma now let us see what are the components of plasma the important components of plasma are water plasma proteins and other factors about 90 to 92 percentage of plasma it is composed of water and about 7 to 8 percentage of plasma it is composed of plasma proteins and the other factors like fat salt urea hormones sugar etc is also present now we will learn in detail what are the different type of plasma proteins and their functions there are three different type of plasma proteins they are albumin 
globulin and fibrinogen. I repeat once again albumin, globulin and fibrinogen. Then we can see what is their function. Albumin regulates blood pressure. Globulin, it helps in defense. And fibrinogen, it helps in clotting of blood. Albumin regulates blood pressure. Globulin helps in defense. And fibrinogen, it helps in coagulation of blood or you can say clotting of blood. I hope that is clear. You all know that the blood circulates all over the body through blood vessels. Let us have a closer study about the different types of blood vessels. The first type of blood vessel it is known as artery. It is made up of thick elastic muscular wall. Thick elastic muscular wall. It carries the blood away from the heart. It carries the blood away from the heart. The blood always flows with high pressure and high speed. The second type of blood vessel it is known as veins. It is made up of thin muscular wall. It is made up of thin muscular wall. It carries the blood towards the heart. It carries the blood towards the heart. Walls are seen inside. Walls are seen inside which prevent the backward flow of blood. Prevents the backward flow of blood. The blood flows with low speed and low pressure. The third group of blood vessel it is known as capillaries. It is a fine blood vessel which connects both veins and arteries. So it can be seen as a network which connect both arteries and veins. It is made up of a single layer of a cell with numerous pores on the wall. The wall of the capillary are made up of single layer of cells with minute pores on it. And the blood flows with very low speed and low pressure. So three types of blood vessels are there. Arteries, veins and capillaries.